been doing this with him in the garden. so intense, he fixates, he goes mental. Right? What I want to do is teach him that when he looks at a dog, looking away is a much better choice. So you see how he's a lot calmer. Good looking. We'll go forward a little bit. Kill. Okay. See how close we can get to Maiden. all on level six. It's actually lower than the working level originally. Looking at Maisie Pace. That was yeah, that was pretty close. <laughs>
fear. Really? Yeah, because it's more relaxed when the dogs move slow. When Fred moves fast, panic. He's focused off of the dogs, having a little sniff, things like that. He's not staying. Like the first time I met him, even though we stopped him reacting, his focus was there the entire time. Even though he wasn't barking and growling, he was still very much tense and wanting to go after him. Keep moving. But if he can stop, sniff, do all things like that. He's not pulling me either except for when he wants to do that. But what I mean is he's not pulling me to get to, to, the, get to dogs. the dogs. No. He's turned on by movement and excitement. We know that already. Freaking man of mine likes anything that moves fast. <clears throat> and he gets very concerned when there's dogs behind him. Right. If he can see them, he relaxes. So like right now, that's why I asked the assistant to go in front of me because he was concerned because we had Fred in front of him and Maisie behind him. Now they're both in front, he's more interested in doing his own thing. This is the little things that he sort of needs, really, so he can get used to being around strange dogs he doesn't know, Yeah. whilst being able to do what he wants to do. Fortunately, when he gets panicked, he just makes bad decisions. So what I want to do, keep going Fred. And he just walks off. So, whereas, would that have happened before? No. Your friend's coming this way. It's all right. Stop. Stop. Down. Oh, look. Mouth open. Not fixating. These these are all really really good things. Being able to look away. When the dog's getting really stressed, he generally fixates on what makes him afraid, right? And their mouth shut. You can see like their cheeks puffing, things like that. He his mouth is very relaxed. He's looking at Fred. He's looking away. These are all really really good things. This shows me that he's not majorly stressed. Okay. Is he a bit uncomfortable? Yeah. Of course he is, he's around two dogs. He's <laughs> He only likes the dogs that he knows. Anything else he seems to perceive as a threat. Yeah. Obviously he said he was attacked ever since then. He's never really been himself. Obviously you've been panicking about him hurting another dog, things yeah. like that. So he's never really been himself. Down. Yeah, this is great. The fact that he'll just follow me. And what I want to say as well, is if he can just walk past Fred. Let's go take that. Okay, down. Down. But you see, 
see that little that panic look like yeah is he gonna move is he gonna move is he gonna move so you, you, you see he, so he, he does need his confidence building but look this is pretty damn cool right this ain't bad no Pretty cool. Down. Do you think we'll be this close to another dog? Not as calm as that, no. This is calm as I've actually seen him. People say he called us bad. What have you got it on? Ten. His original working level. So we get a little bit more movement going. Yeah, he's looking back, isn't he? Yeah. But he's not reacting. No. I'm not holding him tight, anything like that. I've got him on a short lead just in case, but his lead's not tall. No. I mean, Fred's done this loads and loads of times, so Fred knows. Fred's not interested in the dogs. Fred's more interested, he wants to get past Fred now. So we bring him in a little bit closer. I move over here. Come on, Fred. Go. 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 Go with me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was pretty cool. Yep. 